Welcome to the Defeating Epilepsy Foundation YouTube channel. In this presentation, we will discuss what Jacksonian seizures are, diagnosis, testing, and treatment options. Make sure to like our videos and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click on the bell to be notified of future videos. Please click on our donate link in the description section below and donate today. Your donation helps us to make a difference for those battling epilepsy. We appreciate your support. Jacksonian seizures, also known as vocal motor seizures, are a type of partial seizure that originates in a localized area of the brain. Jacksonian seizures are a common symptom of epilepsy, a neurological disorder characterized by recurrent seizures. In the case of Jacksonian seizures, abnormal electrical activity originates in the motor cortex, which is part of the brain responsible for controlling movement. As a result, the seizures typically begin with a twitch or a jerk in a specific muscle group, such as the hand or foot. The twitch or jerk then spreads to adjacent muscle groups, often resulting in a convulsive seizure involving one side of the body. Jacksonian seizures can vary in severity, with some patients experiencing mild, isolated twitches or jerks, while others may have more severe convulsive seizures. In some cases, Jacksonian seizures may progress to involve the entire body, resulting in a generalized seizure. Diagnosing Jacksonian seizures due to epilepsy typically involves a comprehensive medical evaluation by a neurologist or epileptologist who specializes in the diagnosis and treatment of epilepsy. The first step in the evaluation process is to obtain a detailed medical history, including the nature and frequency of the seizures, any triggers that may be associated with the seizures, and any family history of epilepsy or other neurological disorders. The next step is to perform a physical and neurological examination to assess the patient's overall health and any neurological abnormalities. This may include an assessment of the patient's reflexes, muscle strength, and coordination. In addition, a variety of diagnostic tests may be ordered to confirm the diagnosis of Jacksonian seizures due to epilepsy, including electroencephalogram. This test measures the electrical activity in the brain and can detect abnormal patterns of electrical activity that may be associated with seizures. Magnetic Renaissance Imaging. This test uses powerful magnets and radio waves to produce detailed images of the brain, which can help identify any structural abnormalities that may be contributing to the seizures. Blood test. Blood tests can help identify any underlying medical conditions that may be causing the seizures, such as infections, metabolic disorders, or drug toxicity. Video monitoring. This involves a patient staying in a hospital or specialized epilepsy monitoring unit, where they are monitored 24-7 with video and EEG recording. This can help capture and classify the seizures and determine the best course of treatment. Diagnosing Jacksonian seizures due to epilepsy can be a complex process, and it may require multiple tests and evaluations over time to arrive at an accurate diagnosis. However, with an accurate diagnosis, patients can receive the appropriate treatment to help control their seizures and improve their quality of life. Jacksonian seizures that are caused by epilepsy can be treated with medications that are designed to prevent seizures. These medications work by stabilizing the electrical activity in the brain and preventing abnormal electrical discharges that can cause seizures. There are several types of medications that can be used to treat Jacksonian seizures due to epilepsy, including anti-epileptic drugs. These medications are the most common treatment for epilepsy and are designed to prevent seizures from occurring. Some common anti-epileptic drugs include phenytoin, carbamazepine, 
valproic acid, and lamotrigine. Benzodiazepines. These medications are often used in emergency situations to stop a seizure that is already in progress. Diazepam and lorazepam are two examples of benzodiazepines that may be used to treat Jacksonian seizures. Other medications. In some cases, other medications may be used to treat Jacksonian seizures due to epilepsy, such as topriamate, gabapentin, and levetiracetam. It is important to work closely with the neurologist to determine the best treatment plan for Jacksonian seizures due to epilepsy. The goal of treatment is to prevent seizures from occurring while minimizing side effects from the medication. Aside from medications for epilepsy, Making dietary modifications like the keto diet can also be considered. In some cases, surgical options may be considered if medications are not effective in controlling seizures. In conclusion, Jacksonian seizures, also known as focal motor seizures, are a type of partial seizure that originates in a localized area of the brain. Jacksonian seizures are a common symptom of epilepsy, a neurological disorder characterized by recurrent seizures. Diagnosing Jacksonian seizures due to epilepsy can be a complex process, and it may require multiple tests and evaluations over time to arrive at an accurate diagnosis. However, with an accurate diagnosis, patients can receive the appropriate treatment to help control their seizures and improve their quality of life. It is important to work closely with the neurologist to determine the best treatment plan for Jacksonian seizures due to epilepsy. The goal of treatment is to prevent seizures from occurring while minimizing side effects from the medication. Aside from medications for epilepsy, making dietary modifications like the keto diet can also be considered. In some cases, surgical options may be considered if medications are not effective in controlling seizures. To learn more about Jacksonian seizures, please check out the resources used in the presentation today. Please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on our social media pages. We would love to hear from you. Leave a comment below or email us at info at defeatingepilepsy.org. Thank you for your support and together we will defeat epilepsy. Check out our other great videos and subscribe today. You have the power to defeat epilepsy.